Hello everyone, this is Advocate Mrinal Dattatrai Bhuva, practicing before the Supreme Court of India and visiting faculty for the Cyber Laws at ILI. Students, today we are going to discuss the module on search and seizure in cyberspace. We can take the overview of the module. Firstly, I will introduce you with the topic. Then, first chapter will talk about search and seizure of digital evidence. Second chapter deals with safety measures at the exploration spot. Third chapter deals with stages for search. Whereas fourth chapter deals with American law and the fourth amendment protection against unreasonable search and seizure. Whereas fifth chapter provides for the search and seizure in India. Sixth chapter provides for the European Convention on Cybercrime on Search and Seizure. Seventhly, conclusion and findings and lastly, we will discuss the summary for this module. Now, what will be the learning outcome? By the end of this module, you would be able to understand concept of search and seizure of digital evidence, safety measures to be taken at the spot of search and seizure, stages for the search, American law and its relevance concerning unreasonable search and seizure, Indian law relating to search and seizure, regional and or international guide, guidelines relating to search and seizure and conclusions and findings thereon. Now, the introduction. The progress of information and communication technology has transformed the manner in which the people do day to day trades and interrelate with the world all over the place. These connections and communications are recognized and stored on a regular basis accessibly by the people and business firms over and done with facility was used. Illustratively, the universal smartphone overhead and more than a communication device is an instrument which can preserve a whole note of the communications, record, picture, videos and papers and gathering of other several spatial contents such as application records which comprises of place tracing or commercial records of the consumer. As computers and telephones progressively sanction, sanction us to possess massive amounts of, pic, uh, of particular material available at the touch of switch or display. <clears throat> the growing dependence of computers as information silos also exponentially grows the troubles to 60 uh, related with the damage of regulate, damage of re, uh, regulate over such instruments and the data they cover. This susceptibility is particularly in, uh, instinctual in the background of law, law implementation and usage of forced national control to uphold safety contrasted with person's right to protect their confidentiality. The right to conduct a search and seizure of persons or places is an essential part of investigation and the criminal justice system. The societal interest in maintaining security is an overwhelming consideration which gives the state a restricted mandate to do all the things necessary to keep law and order, which includes acquiring all the possible information for investigation of criminal activities, a restriction which is based on recognizing the perils of the state endorsed coercion and its implications on individual liberty, uh, liberty. Digitally, stored, digitally stored information which is increasingly become a major site of investigative information is thus essential in modern day investigation techniques. Further, specific crimes which, which have emerged out of the changing scenario, namely crimes related to the internet require investigation almost exclusively at the level of digital evidence. The role of course and policymakers then is to balance the state's mandate to procure information with the citizen's right to protect it. Now, what is the objective and the scope of this module? Students, the objective and scope of this module is to understand and to study the concept of law relating to search and seizure in virtual space. Now, the second chapter, uh, the first chapter, which talks about the search and seizure of digital evidence. In the conservative surroundings, substances are put in a sto storage in a physical form that can be put in a storage materially like data printed on papers, bills, 
receipts, reports, manuscripts, etc., which are vulnerable to harm by corporal approaches such as stealing, robbery, etc. However, in the technology era of microelectronic environs, record is put in storage in incorporeal arrangement creation incorporeal arrangement creation uh, in a cybernetic sphere where these restrictions of conservative procedures no longer spread on therefore lawbreakers pursuing data put in storage in system with dial in access can have right of entry to that data from almost wherever in the world the amount of data that can be lifted or quantity of harm that can be produced by malicious software development encryption may be restric restricted only by the rapidity of the network and the offender of offenders apparatus. Next the point is about advanced planning for search. When the investigating officer is essentially to do a quest in a place anywhere, it is alleged that computer networks or any additional electronic memory devices are likely to be found. It is prudent to call computer forensic expert to along with the examination group. If it is not probable, data may be put together with uh, about the category, kind, model, operating system, web structural design, handed on, uh, sorry, web structural design, category and place of record storing, distant entry risks, etc., which can be handed on to the forensic expert. For instance, that would aid creating essential groundwork to gather and reserve a proof. There can be some circumstances in which it might not be likely to eliminate the system tangibly and records might have to be derivative at the place of offense or scene of the examination. The investigator or expert needs to possess required mass media, software and other specific objects. So also exceptional packing things which can preclude harm of records as the information of magnetic media can be damaged by dirt, lurches and electrostatic surroundings. Now the next chapter deals with the safety measures at the exploration spot. The first point includes taking control of the location. It is very significant to safeguard the one which is doubt, doubt, doubtful or susceptible uh, or suspect is not permissible to trace any portion of the system or additionally devoted to it whichever by corporeal ways or by means of wireless device. Meanwhile, computers could be associated over and done with corporeal systems such as fabric optic, fab, uh, fiber optic, cable, telephones or Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi max wireless networks or even by the means of cell phones consuming a wireless message port. The investigator has to be aw awfully aware and may find control from an expert if not accessible on a place on cell phone and proceed stages as per advices. The investigator needs to think of that even by using a switch or by providing a direction by means of a wireless mouse or keyboard or even by giving a direction using an email, email message. The whole records either could be smeared out or despoiled, doing it unusable for the investigator. This is also this is also appropriate in the situation of minor instruments or detachable storing device, which have the dimensions of storing enormous quantity of records. Therefore, it is very much significant that persons existent at the place of the examination are parted from the computers and all devices are reserved out of their influence as it is not difficult to damage or abolish evidence or virtual evidence and same can be completed from corner to corner away which could be corporeal or wireless wireless the investigator must proceed all stages to protect the information next point is about the network computers 
One should not cut off server connections from the computer if web linkage or processors are involved. Pulling a computer from a network may lose the network and creates damage to the firm's actions. It is usually not applied to confiscate a computer. It needs detaching all the computers which are connected to it. Hardware confiscation with, with a system on a network can be actual complex and one should certainly enlist the help of the computer forensic expert in these cases. Now the planning for the search. The examiner or investigator should follow the various items with him which will facilitate the search such as disks or cartridges. This can be used to stock duplicates of files from the piece, uh, computer for use in his investigation. Labels to mark or label cables where they plug in, dis, plug in, disks, the various parts of the computer and to write or protect disks. Next, screwdrivers and other tools to dismantle the hardware for seizure. Glows. One should remember that often latent prints can be taken from the disks or other storage media or hardware. Next, packing materials. It includes rubber bands, tape, boxes, bubble wrap and if he does not have access to anti-static wrap, paper bags should be used because they have less static charge than plastic bags. Next, camera equipment. It includes video tape and photograph the scene. Ne next, chain of the custody report sheets and other paper to inventory seized, to inventory seized evidence. Next chapter is about stages for the search. First stage is, of course, reliance on the technical expert. One should be cautious and should not do or cause harm throughout a search as automatically stored data can be simply misplaced. The services of the computer forensic expert shall be taken at every probable place. The specialists cannot only assess throughout an examination but could also contribute in interrogating the firm's technical personnel because they will know what interrogations to questions to bring about relevant information for the investigation. On site, the investigator has to assess the apparatus and take preventive steps as referred above. Next, he will need to have document, need to do the document the way the system is connected together and to take different steps such as marking and photoing the arrangement, labeling all the parts, powering the sister down, seizing uh, uh, the documentation of the seized material. Next chapter is about the handling of, of evidence and computer hardware. First point talks about the protect, protecting the data. The IO must also safeguard the disks or cartridges he discovers at the place of search with reference, reference to keep the data safely. Most compact disks and cartridges have a little slithering tab that precludes altering the disk information when fixed proper, properly. Inserting a blank disk in the hard drive of the system will retain them from booting up from the hard drive if they are inadvertently switched on. Next point talks about the packaging for the transport. Once the IO or the experts has dismantled the computer, it is ready to be packed for the transport, transportation to the forensic library. Computers parts being sensitive are easily damaged and hard drives that regularly collect the records have subtle machineries, so they should be controlled prudently. One should not cover the system components using styf uh, sty styrofoam because small constituent parts can disruption off and become inside the system producing it to the failure. Next point talks about the uh, to keep system components together. Keep, one should keep the constituents of system together. This small structural step can protect a lot of period once the examiners are trying to rebuild the system. Next point that is single machine or single seizing agent provides for if one individual handles the confiscation of a system, the same one can validate the proof at 
a trial. This simple concern can sidestep misperception the letter. Next point provides about uh, provides how to transport and store the system. One should not place the system in the trunk of the police vehicle. The system should be protected in such a fashion which would lessen vibrations which may jiggle apart and fasten it. The IO should keep the system safely and away uh, of uh, and at the drier place which is away from the electromagnetic devices. Now the American law and the fourth amendment protection against the unreasonable search and seizure. It is provided under uh, next chapter. The scope of the mandate as mentioned in the first part of this module is presently being deliberated before the Supreme Court of the United States which started hearing submissions in, a ca in various cases such as Relay versus California and United States versus Fury on the 29th of April 2014. The point for the consideration was if the investigating officers should be permitted to pursue the mobile phones of persons upon lawful detention without gaining a precise warrant for the search. The, case, the cases relate the events where the accused was in detention because of a min, uh, minor breach and search with, without warrant was late which comprise the search of cell phones in their custody. The information exposed in the phones eventually managed to the evidence added crimes and the sentence of the accused of serious offense for uh, say the sentence of the accused of serious offense. The appeal, uh, the appeal is to surpass the evidence so acquired on the basis that the search disrupts even though there have been a overburdens of inconsistent choices by numeral subordinate courts including the judgment in Vire and Relay. The Federal Supreme Court will be for the first time determining the question whether the mobile phone searches should need a greater higher onus under the Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment in the Constitution of the United States specifically provides the safeguard against the unwarranted searches and confiscation. Nonetheless, the discretion has been given to the court to appreciate situation in which the right to non-intervention would go better to the interest of attaining information in every case in absence of the precise def definition of the term unreasonable reading, leading to comprehensive and diverse jurisprudence on that matter. The jurisprudence originates from the uh, extensive Fourth Amendment safeguard against unreasoned government intrusion where the law is usually that any search without warrant is unreasonable except enclosed by sure exclusions. The basis for the safeguard under the Fourth Amendment has an individual standard which is decided on as per subjective psychological consideration than that of any objective consideration such as physical location and encompasses to all conditions where people have rational expectation of privacy that is circumstances where people can reasonably believe to have privacy which is a subjective criteria and not absolute reliant on the tangible location of the search. Therefore, the con condition of reasonableness is generally only satisfied once a search is accomplished, accomplished uh, following to the issuance of warrant from unbiased judge by providing credible reason to be certain of the evidence of any illegal action would be based upon such search. Hence the warrant is therefore a significant restriction on a search authorities of the investigating officers. Additionally, the safeguard accepts roving or overall, overall searches and needs accuracy of articles to be searched. The limitation originates its authority from the exception rule which creates a bar to the evidence acquired through unwarranted search or confisc confiscation found straight away or through added warrants founded upon such evidence from being used in succeeding prosecutions. Though there have developed numerous exclusions to the general rule which inculcates cases where the searches proceeds, search proceeds on legitimate detention of an accused 
a process which is justified by the prospect of unseen weapons upon the accused or of damage caused to the key evidence. Finding an individual these days would not only amount to the recovery of calling cards or cigarettes, but the cell phones and PCs which can be the virtual record of the individual's life somewhat that could not have been anticipated when the rules were drafted. Mobile phones and computer hunts are the alike or of searches of the records, pictures and individual records and uh, these and of privacy in these cases is greater than in usual searches. Courts have previously considered that cell phones and laptops are atoms in which the operator may have a rational belief of privacy by assembling them corresponding to a padlock flask which the law enforcement agency cannot explore and therefore impending under the safeguard of fourth amendment. However, the other side provides mobile phone and PCs also clutch the data that can be helpful in examining criminal action and with tools like secluded smears of accessible computer records. This kind of record is continuously in danger of damage of investigation happen if the investigation happens late. On the basis of the verbal opinion being received now, it appears that the court is figuring out an exact standard appropriate to novel technologies. The court is expected to bring together uh, delicacies precise to the technology involved. Now, the next chapter which provides for search and seizure in India. Indian jurisprudence on privacy is comprehensive, comprehensive from that of the jurisprudence in USA. Nevertheless, it is hard to stringently sort the several aspects of right to privacy. There is no direct or implied reference of such right in Indian constitution. Even if judiciary has acknowledged the significance of practical safeguards in guarding the perverse governmental intrusion, the appreciation of the inherent right to privacy as non-interference which may be different from the contributory rights which criminal procedure pursue to protect, such as abuse of police authority, is deeply missing. The general law has provided that for the country's authority of search and confiscation of, co confiscation of the evidence is provided in the C Code of Criminal Procedure Code Procedure 1973. Section 93 of this code offers for overall practice of search. Section 93 provides that for a magistrate to issue, an, uh, uh, to issue a warrant for the search of any document or thing including warrant for general search of an area where it believes it is required for the purpose of investigation. The meticulousness of the search warrant is not a condition under section 93 subsection 2. Therefore, a warrant might be a, a common or roaming search of a place. Section 100 which additionally states that for the search of a closed place, it includes certain protections such as attendance of witness and prerequisite of warrant prerequisite of warrant before the police officer may be permitted access into the closed place. However, under section 165 and section 51 of the code, the necessities of a search, wa search warrant are discharged. Section 165 bestows the warrant prerequisite and offers for an officer in charge of a police station or any other officer duly approved by him to execute the search of any location as long as he has the reasonable basis to trust that search would be for the preservance of an investigation and confidence uh, that search warrant cannot be acquired without undue delay. Additionally, the officer leading such search must as far as possible write down the details for search certainly in uh, writing prior to undertake such search. Section 51 provides that another except express exception to the condition of search warrants. By permitting the search of uh, an individual detained legally provided that detained individual might not be granted a bail and needs any such seized 
uh, atom to be in black and white in a such memo. As long as these circumstances are satisfied, the IO has absolute control, control to the search <coughs> an individual on upon detention where the detainee can be granted bail as per the warrant or in cases of even the arrest without warrant as per the legislation. The search and seizure of such person may not be regular one and the evidence so gathered would be conditioned to uh, subject to more scrutiny by the court. However, despite of nominal safeguards, there is no added procedural safeguard or individual privacy and the authorities of search authorities of the search of the investigating officer are tremendously comprehensive and unrestricted. Actually, there is a lock, lack of uh, exceptions rule as safeguard as well. It shows that unlike under the fourth amendment under US law, the non-compliance with the practical conditions of search would not by itself make the proceeding infructuous or defeat the evidence so established but would only subject to an irregularity which must be just ex extra aspect accepted in assessing such evidence. Unreasonable intervention in personal matters by the state is a beneficial standard to assess privacy since it attributes a concept of privacy as an inherent right as well as contributory one. That is privacy as a non-interference is a good in itself despite of the rights it helps to achieve. For example, rights such as freedom of movement or freedom of speech. Concerning digital privacy in precise, Indian law and policy has become unsuccessful to meet the challenges that new technology pose to privacy and has in fact been reverting by involving in surveillance of online transactions and by permitting governmental right to use the online information like emails, website, logs without the judicial check. In the era of ICT and of privacy being located at more risk, laws which were once considered rational now have become absolutely insufficient in ensuring freedom and liberty as provided by the right to privacy. The discrepancy is even more noticeable in cases of investigation of cyber crimes which depend on almost entirely on electronic evidence such as those essentially provided under the Information Technology Act but investigated under the oral process involved in the code of as provided in the code of similar procedure as mentioned above. The process for the investigation of the cyber crimes and search and seizure of electronic evidence need special acceptance and must be brought in a line with modified shifting standards. Though section 69 and 69B of the IT Act provides for the uh, provides the procedure for the investigation must be brought in a line in uh, with modifying shifting standards. Uh, it uh, it needs search if direction is given by competent authority that is secretary to the department of IT in government of India. The authority for search and seizure is pro also provided in various other rules such as rule 3 sub rule 9 of the information technology due diligence observed by intermediary guidelines rules 2011 which permits admission to information from intermediaries by a simple written order by any agency or person who are lawfully authorized for investigative, protective, cyber security or intelligence activity or under rule 6 of the draft reasonable security practices rules 2011 framed under section 43A of the Information Technology Act where any government agency may for the prevention, detection, investigation, prosecution and punishment of offenses obtain any personal data from an intermediate body corporate which stores such data. The rule enclosed for inquiry of electronic evidence hence do not encourage much reliance where protection of privacy uh, where protection of privacy is concerned. In the absence of precise guide, uh, guiding principle or modifications to the search and confiscation processes of electronic evidence the insufficiencies of spread over 
old criterions amounts to unreasonable interferences of privacy and liberties is an ordinance which needs the solution by the judges and the lawmakers of the nation next chapter talks about the european convention on cyber crime and the provision relating to the search and seizure the convention adopts traditional procedure measures such as search and seizure to the new technological environment further new dealings have been created such as accelerated protection of data in order to safeguard the old style actions of collection such as search and seizure remain in effect in the unpredictable technological environment as data in the new technological environment is not always motionless but may be flowing in the procedure of the communication other traditional gathering procedures pertinent to the telecommunications such as instantaneous gathering of traffic data and the interception of the content data have also been adopted in order to certify the gathering of electronic data that is in the procedure of communication communication some of these measures are set out in uh, council of europe next the recommendation number r9513 on problems of criminal procedure law associated with information technology in adopting traditional procedural laws to the new technological environment the query of suitable technology arises in the provisions of this section the options inculcating preserving outdated language search and seize using new and more technology concern with the computer terms such as access and copy as accepted in writings of the global fora on the subject or employing cooperation of varied language as it is an essential to reflect the development of ideas in electronic environment as well as recognize and preserve their old style backgrounds the elastic approach of permitting states to use either of the old nations of search and confiscation or new concepts of admission and copying is active another protection in the conve convention is that the authorities and processes shall incorporate the standards of proportionality the proportionality shall be applied by each party with reference with applicable principles of national law for european countries this will be resulting from the principle of 1915's uh, council of europe convention for the protection of human rights and fundamental freedoms its appropriate jurisprudence and national law and jurisprudence that the control or procedural shall be relative to the nature and conditions to the offence other states will relate the principles of their law such as limitations on over extensiveness of production orders and rationality warrants for searches and seizures also the clear resistance in article 21 that responsibilities concerned to interception events are with respect to variety of serious offences dogged by the national or domestic law is an obvious instance of request of the proportionality standard the reference to order or similarity obtained is planned to permit the use of lawful procedures of releasing protections than just by means of legal executive order in some states protection orders do not occur in procedural law and records can only be well maintained and acquired through search and seizure or creation order flexibility is intended by the use of the phrase or otherwise to obtain to authorize these states to implement this article by practice of these means however it is suggested that state to cogitate the instituting of powers and procedure in fact the addressy of the order to preserve the data as rapid action by the person can consequence a consequent in more speedy application of the protection events in specific cases the power to order or in some way finds the speedy preservation of identified computer data spread over to any type of storage data this can comprise any type of data that is identified in order to be well kept uh, the orientation to traffic data also refer a link between the procedures in articles 16 and 17 paragraph 2 stipulates that where a member state stretches effect to protection by means of an order the order to retain is with reference to identified storage system data 
in the individual's custody. For the, uh, for the further explanation, kindly have a look on Article 162 of, uh, of the European Convention. The next point is about search and seizure of the stored computer data. Article 19 of the European Convention on Cybercrime provides for the search and seizure of the stored computer data. This aims at updating and consistent national laws on search and confiscation of storage system data for the objective of attaining evidence with reference to exact criminal investigations or proceedings. Any national criminal procedural law includes authorities for search and seizure of physical things. Nevertheless, in various jurisdictions, system storage data per se will not be regarded as tangible thing and hence cannot be protected on behalf of criminal investigations and proceedings in parallel method as tangible objects other than by safeguarding the data medium upon which it is uh, upon which the storage data is located. The object of article 19 of this convention is to create an equal power connecting to the storage data. For the further explanation one can have a look at point number 186, 187, 188, 189, 190, 191, 192, 193, and 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199, 200, 203, 202, for the, uh, for the sake of explanation, which is provide, uh, for the sake of explanation of the articles uh, such as 19, article 20, and 21 for the search and seizure in cyberspace. To conclude this module, based on the above discussion, uh, we can say that the law on search and seizure is still inadequate and there is, uh, there is need to provide further or more specifications about the search and seizure in virtual world as the present law relating to search and seizure in for cyberspace is merely an extension of the law law which is applicable to the physical world thank you very much